वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स वी वर डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक एंजाइम्स सो नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द एंजाइम इनिबिशन ना एंजाइम्स आर ऑल्सो सेंसिटिव टू सर्टन केमिकल्स विच बाइंड टू द एंजाइम एंड वेन द एक्टिविटी और यू कैन से वेन द बाइंडिंग ऑफ अ केमिकल रिड्यूस और शर्ट्स ऑफ द केमिकल सॉरी इन द एंजाइम एक्टिविटी दैट केमिकल आर कॉल्ड एज इनिबिटर्स सो वट आर इनिबिटर्स विच कॉज द लॉस ऑफ कैटालिटिक एक्टिविटी ऑफ एंजाइम एंड चेंज द प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ enzyme they can be competitive as well as non competitive and some can be irreversible so let's study the first inhibition that is competitive inhibition now competitive inhibition contains the or includes the inhibitor which closely re resembles the substrate in its molecular structure and binds to the active site of enzyme which is called as competitive inhibitor a structure similar to substrate occupies the active site and competes with the substrate for the active site that means if suppose this is an enzyme and this is a substrate so it will just resemble the shape of substrate suppose this is a substrate or this is an inhibitor so in place of inhibitor the this uh, sorry in place of substrate the inhibitor will get combined to the enzyme and it the activity of enzyme is lost so competitive inhibitor also have effect is uh, which is reversed by increasing the substrate concentration next comes the co non competitive inhibition now this non competitive inhibitor does not have a structure like substrate it binds to the enzyme but not at active site it changes the shape of enzyme and the active site the substrate cannot fit the altered active site okay so no reaction occurs and effect is not reversed by adding the substrate so what happens in this the enzyme activity is reduced by the product of the same enzyme reaction such as a such phenomenon is also called as the feedback inhibition and when the inhibitor does not complete compete with the substrate so it does not compete with the substrate for the active site they are called as non competitive inhibitor okay again comes a very important term that is allosteric inhibition now in such cases the product binds to the site called as allosteric site on the enzyme okay and that phenomenon is called as allosteric inhibition so students in this session we have seen about the inhibitors of enzyme thank you